homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today I want to do a little experiment. Now, I plant my sweet corn always as close to the 1st of June as possible. Well, this is mid-May, and I want to plant my sweet corn. Now, this is the third time I've started this video, and something's come up, and I haven't got to do it. So, I'm a little farther behind planting this set than I wanted to be, but it's okay. Uh, rather than plant candy corn, I know that candy corn makes good in two rows separated by a foot and then over six feet with my tractor so I can till between it over six feet it makes good with two more rows. I know that my candy corn does that. So this year I thought I would try a different kind of hybrid sweet corn, the super sweet stuff. This is the Burpee Bilicious. Now it says it's $13.99, but I got it for $10.99 at Tractor Supply. This is a half a pound. That's enough to do two 100 foot rows and maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to get down through here and do that. But first, I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. Now, when I do the two rows, uh, I just want to see if this corn will make that way. Let me read you what it says on the package. And it's the same thing my grandmother taught me as a kid. Uh, sow in fertile soil and full sun after the danger of last spring frost. And soil has warmed thoroughly. Sow nine inches apart in rows two to three feet apart. In other words, 36 inches apart. That's the way we always row cropped. 36 inches apart and took a hand tiller and went down in between the rows and kept them clean. I'm getting too old for the hand tiller. My back kills me when I use that thing anymore. So I want to do this with the tractor. Then it says at least four rows side by side rather than one long row. In other words, my granny always said if you want to have sweet corn, you got to plant it four rows deep or else it doesn't pollinate well and you don't get nice kernels, you get a lot of skips. Well, last year, when I did the candy corn, it did really good at one foot apart and then over one foot apart. So this year, I'm going to try it with just a single set of two rows side by side and see how this uh, Bilicious hybrid does. So, and I'll save my candy corn for over in the flat garden doing it the way I did it last year. So this is an experiment this year, but I'm not going to waste my experiment. What if this don't make? I don't want to waste anything. So in between those two rows of corn, I'm going to plant white greasy beans. These are our saved seeds. This is an heirloom variety, so you don't have to buy those. Sweet corn is about the only variety of plant that I buy here. Uh, I don't buy other plants. We, we raise our own seed and save our own seed. But hybrid sweet corn, the super sweet stuff, you've got to buy it. And it's not cheap. This is $20, $21, $22 a pound. It's not cheap. But this is going to give me a whole tractor bucket full of sweet corn, if it makes. Now, how am I going to plant it? I'm going to plant it with my Earthway planter. But every year I set out to plant and uh, there's a tube right here. Okay, my battery died, so I'm back. Right here is where it drops the corn. Okay, through this little hole and it this cuts a furrow open, drops it, and then this right here drags the dirt back over it. But every year, spiders get down in this hole and clog this up. So if you don't clear the spiders out, you won't be dropping no corn. You'll just be walking down the road for no good reason. So let's get this apart. Uh, I don't know what plate I've got in there, but there's the plate. You just hold on to the wheel so it can't turn. 
you turn it backwards and the plate and I know you couldn't see that so well, come out and the plate comes off and each plate says what it's for. See, this plate says it's for small peas. It's what I'll use to plant the beans. But I might just use the corn plate. This is the sweet corn plate. You'll notice that there are one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the wheel on that is three feet in circumference. So in three feet, it's going to drop five kernels of corn. So 36 inches divided by, divided by five is like seven or eight inches apart, between seven and eight inches apart. Eight times five is 40, and and seven times five is 35. So it's a little better than seven inches apart. So that's just fine for planting this uh, bilicious sweet corn. Uh, it's what I use to plant my candy corn too. So I'm going to get a stick and run through this and try and clean out the spiders. And then we'll put this on and go plant some corn. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that. But if you'll look right here. Is a spider magnum opus that was down in there that would have stopped the corn from going through. So now I can just pull my stick back out and we're ready to plant corn. Now these grooves just go down in here and go over a set of grooves that are there. You twist it backwards. And it locks that plate into place, and you're ready to plant corn. So I'm going to go ahead Oop. a few more spider webs down in there. That's how much is down in there. Okay. Now, that's what this looks like. These seeds in comparison to my hand. Okay, they're not great big. So, neither's candy corn seeds. So now, all you have to do to plant these is just walk down the row. It's a, that's the, one of the best things I ever got was this Earthway planter. Okay, I don't know what's up with my camera, but it's plowing through batteries today. Uh, right here, I came out and plowed a section early this morning. I would rather have had another day for it to dry out, but the rain's coming tonight, and there was not going to be another day. And then, uh, when after I get done with this, nothing happens in a vacuum on my homestead. I've got two or three projects going on today. One is I've got to plow the rest of this, and... Uh, hoe the onions and the peppers and the cucumbers and that stuff and the potatoes so i've got a lot of that to do and i'm doing a couple of other projects too at the same time today so we got to get this done so let's get down this row and plant some sweet corn <laughs>
That's how much is left. Going downhill is so much easier than coming back up. Okay, okay, now that I've had a little breath. This is our uh, greasy beans. They're an uh, heirloom variety. We saved the seed ourselves. I've had these for over 50 years. So I try and make sure every year to plant some uh, just enough to get seed back if, if I don't need them in the freezer. Well, this year I don't need them in the freezer. We've still got plenty, but I want my seed back. So I'm going to plant one row down through this corn and it'll keep us uh, in seed for the upcoming year. Now I'll push this planter down, but when I walk back, since I'm not going to be planting, I'll walk around in the grass. It's so much easier to walk through that grass than it is to walk back up in that plowed dirt. Okay, two 100 foot roads of Biolicious uh, hybrid sweet corn and one 100 foot row of greasy beans planted in between the two corn rows that are that far apart. Now what's gonna happen is, whew, uh, after these come up, I'll go through and give them fertilizer. Now, about three pounds per hundred foot row. So it'll be about six pounds of fertilizer down through there. What? A dollar's worth of fertilizer. Let's see, six pounds, six times thirty dollar and eighty cents worth of fertilizer. Less than two dollars worth of fertilizer. And it'll be the only fertilizer for the year. Now, some folks say that the beans will put nitrogen back in the soil. Not this year. Okay? Beans pull nitrogen out of the air but they don't release it, they put it into their foliage. So you have to plow that back into the soil for it to release it. So, but it is one of the sisters. So planting those beans down the center, they'll kind of shade out the weeds. Now, after the corn comes up and when I fertilize, I'll come back and plant some pumpkins in there. And where I'll plant the pumpkins is anywhere a corn didn't come up. Sometimes there'll be skips. In other words, places that, uh, a corn stalk didn't come up. Well, I'll plant a pumpkin seed or two in each of those skips, and then we'll have all the pumpkins we want. So now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it's right up here, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, time for me to get on to the next thing.